Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, got some new product today. Uh, finally decided to open a box of Masters products and uh, the price has gotten pretty dirt poor. Uh, pretty dirt cheap on these. Uh, you can get these very inexpensive now. Uh, so I picked up a box. Uh, came with a nice little bang there. But um, it won't affect the cards, I'm sure. At least let's hope. So let's uh, see what we pulled here. Got some M25. Uh, never opened a full booster box of this product. Opened two of those uh, Target triple packs of this product. And I got a Jason, a Chalice out of one. I got an ensnaring bridge and a foil chalice out of the other. Um, the other I opened on video, but the video cut off halfway. The first I did not open on video. So I'm going to open these and we're going to see the results live in person. So let's see how we do. These, pretty much at this point, price wise, you're going to make your money back, even for what I paid, which was pretty low. You gotta hit a Jason, a bridge, or something like that. So it's there's there's not a huge chance of turnaround on this, but you can still do pretty well. I'm gonna do card by card. Uh, Horror of the Broken Lands, Pyrehound, Act of Fairism, Dirge of Dread, Phantasmal Bear, Ember Weaver, Man of War, Path of Peace, Prophetic Prism, Prism, Dark Ritual, First Uncommon, It's a Zoetic Cavern. A Zombify, a Murder of Crows, and a Decree of Justice. Foil is a common Griffin Protector. The first, uh, the first rare I was looking for, but hey, it works. And a nice Soldier Token. Thresher Lizard, a Renewed Faith, Return Phalanx, Balduvian Horde, a Accumulated Knowledge, an Ambassador Oak, a Dragon's Eye Savants, a Wild Heart Invoker, a Frenzied Goblin, a Court Hussar, and Commons we have a Pillory of the Sleepless, a Perilous Myrrh, a Nyx Fleece Ram, and a conflux. That is quite a mana cost for a card. Three and one of everything. Uh, you search your library for a white card, a blue card, a black card, a red card, and a green card. Reveal those cards and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your library. Definitely a bolus card. And we have a thresher lizard foil. And a morph token. We have a Haunted Fangraph, a Deadly Designs, sorry, Haunted Fangraph is not an uncommon, Deadly Designs, a Crossin, Crossin Tusker, a Cloud Blazer, and a Triskaidekaphobia. Pulled this out, and then a Man of War. What am I doing? Slipping up. And a foil and a skeleton token. Definitely love you get a foil in every pack in this product. Being a big foil fan, I love you get foils in every pack. I have a Bayloth Null, a Zolaport Cutthroat, an Illamort of the Open Fist, and a Cascade Bluffs. First one of the land cycle, and a frenzy goblin. A goblin token. A 
So we have a Jalera Master Polymorphist, a Treasure Keeper, a Mesmeric Fiend, and an Elvish Piper. Those are rare. And a Cloud Shift Foil with a Wolf Token. I'm sure what Elvis Piper is worth now. So a cool card. We have a Curse Catcher, an Invigorate, a Browbeat, and a Protean Hulk. It's worth a couple bucks. And a Chartooth Cougar. And a Spirit Token. No mythics to start with, but we'll see. We have an exclude, a myriad landscape, a ravenous chupacabra, and a nickel bolus to go with our conflux. A deadly designs is our foil with a morph token. We have a Heavy Arbalist, a Promise of Burnay, a Bunray, Bunray, a Willbender, and a Summoner's Pact. Baltuvian Horde is our foil. Summoner's Pact. I'm not sure what that's worth. I remember it being worth something. A couple bucks, I'm sure. No Mythics yet. You're gonna have some late mythics, at least I hope. Or at least mid box mythics. A uh, Bailnut Benoth, <laughs> Bailoth Null, Genju of the Spires, Ordeal of Heliod, and a Sundering Titan with a lower scale coal and a Stang Twin token. Kongming Sleeping Dragon, a Blue Elemental Blast, a Genju of the Falls, and we have our first mythic, a Gisela, Blade of Gold Knight, and a Foil Colossal Dreadmaw, and a Morph Token. We got our first mythic. It is not a great mythic, but it's a mythic. Alright, so we have a Congregate, a Jalira, Master Polymorphist, a Rancor, and an Acroma's Vengeance, and a Twisted Abomination, so foil. A Kobolds of the Keep, a Care Keep. Let's take these off to the side so I can display a little more here. Nobody cares about the commons and the uncommons anyway. Even in a set like this. Alright, so we have a red elemental blast, Iron Shaman, and a Corona Zealot, and a Brian Stotarm. I don't even know how I'm gonna try and pronounce that. Stotarm. And a Utopia Sprawl foil. Spirit token. So we have an enthralling victor, a quicksand, willow of the wisp, and a vindicate. And we have a foil prophetic prism. So 
recuperate those. Street, street Wraith, a Croson Tusker, a Kavu Predator, and a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Bam, we got there. Very nice. You saw it there, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And a giant growth foil. Right there. Just about makes the box, but makes the box back. Almost. Nice. <laughs> Happy man. Alright. Let's see what else we pull. Should have two, one or two more. The least. Mythics, so let's see. Azada, Hedron Grinder. An Angelic Page. A Shadow Mage Infiltrator. And we have an Edelon of the Great Revel. And a Foil Edelon of the Great Revel. That's interesting. I'm not sure if Edelon is even worth anything, but that's a crazy looking foil. Look at that foil. That is nuts so looking. Alright. Interesting foil rare. Not the one I was looking for, but still good. I was looking for him in foil, but that's alright. Can't be too greedy. Well, I guess you can. Alright, so we have a blue animal blast, a lightning, a lightning bolt, nice, and a Rurik Thar, the Unbowed, and a Horror of the Broken Lands foil. We have a Spike Shot Goblin, a Congregate, a Boros Charm, and a Mikakoro Center of the Sea. That card's just been reprinted too much. It used to be a money card back when that set was out, even up until the first time they reprinted it. It was 20 bucks. Now it's two dollars. We have a Simeon Spirit Guide, a Fiend Hunter, a Fallen Angel, and we have a Blood Moon. Very nice. Niz Nizum Cutthroat, and an Elf Warrior token. We have a Stampede Driver. Caustic Tar, Brine Elemental, and a Darien King of Keldor. And we have a Noble Templar to uh, foil and a Spirit token. We've only got two Mythics so far. One really good Mythic, but only two Mythics. Let's see if we can change that. And we got four packs to do it. We have an Ancient Strings, Stirrings, a Nyx Fleece Ram, a Merfolk Looter, and we have a Twilight Mire with a Foil Notion Thief. So that is our second Foil Rare. Again, not a very good Foil Rare, but regardless, two Foil Rares. I think Edelon actually might be a couple bucks, so I'm not sure. Alright, so we have an Angelic Page, a Mesmeric Fiend, a Utopia Sprawl, and a Coalition Relic. 
and a foil phantasmal bear. A brood hatch Nantuku, lore scale Kotal, an Ash Barons, and an Imperial Recruiter as our third as our third mythic, with a Coralheim Guide and an Angel Token. That's a good third mythic. We have a Perilous Mirror, an Undead Gladiator, a Humble Defector, and a Fortune Thief is our rare. With an Echoing Courage Foil and an Inset Token. In our last pack, can we hit a fourth Mythic in our last pack? Open this one slow. Loyal Sentry. Cougar to Chartooth Cougar, God's Willing, Ambassador Oak, Dragon's Eye Savants, Echoing Courage, Disfigure, Colossal Dreadmaw, Pillage. First on common is a Mishra's Factory, Ancient Cravings, a Pyroplasm, and our last rare is Magus of the Wheel. And an Anox Survivalist and a Wheel Token. So I paid 140 for this box. We got Jace the Mind Sculptor. It's 100 bucks. We got 30 for Imperial Recruiter. I think 30 or 40. Just sells 5, 10, something like that. Blood Moon 20. So I did real well for this box. That isn't counting 10 for the Twilight Mire. And I got 5 and $10 cards here and there. It's, it's a great box. Just a great box. I don't know what Edelon of the Great Rival. And foil is worth, but uh, I know it's a good card in foil, so I'll check it out. But uh, overall, it was a great box. We got there definitely with the Jace and the Blood Moon and the Imperial Recruiter, just spicing, nice uh, frosting on the top. So uh, I've got uh, another box. I'm gonna fill them after this one. I'll post that later. Uh, continue my hunt for hunt for uh, masterpieces and. Help everybody you know, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what they thought of this first M25 opening for me. My first Masters Booster Box opening on a filmed. So uh, let me know what you think. Tell me if you liked it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Have a great night.